I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my subscriber and I hope it is going to help many others. The question here is given the demand function Q equals to 36 minus 2P find the total revenue TR function, find marginal revenue function, find average revenue function. What can you conclude about the slopes of MR which is marginal revenue function and the average revenue function and E is plot MR and AR functions on the same graph. Thanks for sharing such a beautiful question. We are not talking about the application of calculus in economics. Now some of my viewers may not understand what all these things are so let me elaborate on this. When we say Q I will write Q with D saying this is the quantity in demand right so this is what we are calling as demand function. Now this demand function really represents uh, in this equation uh, with respect to P where what is P? We'll say P is number of items of items correct. So the demand function is proportional I should say related with uh, the number of items. Now this demand function really also means the price function. So let me also call this as price function. Since that is the price at which items are being sold right. So when we say price function we sometimes write this as P of X. That means price function with units sold right. Similarly the demand function Q D I am writing D here could also be written as Q of X with respect to the number of items being sold. So I hope you are getting this concept as the concept of functions correct. Uh, we'll soon realize that average function is also equals to uh, QD and all these three things are equal. Price function correct. So all these three things are actually uh, more or less same things correct. Okay. So we'll, for this example we'll treat like this. I'm not really getting into the details of uh, all this but uh, that should help you to uh, understand the solution from here onwards right. So let us now say that the demand function here is uh, let me use instead of Q because sometimes we get confused with quantity I'll write this as price P okay I'm writing this as capital P price with number of items being sold uh, 36 minus 2 P is it okay well right price uh, just for the benefit of some other students who may get confused with quantity and P is the quantity the number of items being sold that small p is the quantity right. Now let's begin with part A. Part A is determine total revenue right. So total revenue is defined as demand times P right. So it could be demand function times the number of items sold P. So from the given equation we could write the total revenue function as 36 minus 2p times p right and that could be written as 36p minus 2p square. So that becomes the total revenue. So it really means that if you are selling let us say 10 items for a given price this is price okay 10 items for a given price the number of items times price is total revenue. You got the idea perfect. So that is what total revenue function is. Uh, let me skip to part C now instead of getting to part B we will talk about marginal revenue later. Let's talk about average revenue. So if you sell P items total revenue is given to you like this TR. What is the average revenue? average revenue is total revenue over the number of items sold correct. So I could write this as 36 minus 2p times p divided by p right. That p and p cancels and what you get really is 
36 minus 2p, right? So what you see here is that it is also equal to the demand function. Uh, I mean, let me write qd here. Or it is also equals to the price function. Is it okay? Price of items being sold. Correct? So that is what I was trying to say that demand function, the price function, and the average revenue are same things. Correct? Now, let's get back to part B, which is marginal revenue. Right? Okay. Marginal revenue is the revenue which you generate by selling the next item by selling the next item so marginal revenue is change in total revenue divided by change in item sold so we say marginal revenue is change in total revenue divided by change in the number of items sold right so next items cost is given or i should say revenue is given by marginal revenue now, those of you who are doing calculus, for them, we could treat this as rate of change as DDP of TR, right, of TR. Total revenues rate of change with the items being sold. So here, we already have the function. So let's find its derivative with respect to number of items. So it is 36P minus 2P square, right? And if you find the derivative, what do you get? you get 36 minus 4p, right? So that becomes the function for marginal revenue, right? So we have discussed how to find marginal revenue, how to find average revenue, and now let's do part D. It is, what can you conclude about the slopes of marginal revenue function and average revenue function? Now, as you can see here, you could Average revenue is same as this, so slope is minus 2. Marginal revenue is right there, slope is minus 4. So what you see here is that marginal revenue is twice as steep. I should write marginal revenue, uh, steep as average revenue, right? So in our case, the slope is Consider this to be equation of line. Consider this to be equation of line, correct? We'll sketch it on the next page. Both are equations of lines, as you can see. And equation line in the form y equals to mx plus b. So m is the slope. So here the slope is minus 2. And for marginal revenue, it is 2 times minus 2, right? Do you see that? So that is what the relation is. And plot mr and ar functions on the same graph. Uh, let's do it on the next sheet, okay? So we'll just continue to the next page and then plot it. So now, we'll put number of items P along the x-axis. So we have P, the number of items along the x-axis. And uh, these revenues will be in your currency, let us say dollars for the time being, okay? whatever your currency is and let me write down the formulas which we just generated so we are saying the price function with uh, the number of items is equal to the demand function okay which is also equal to the average revenue and all this is equal to 36 minus 2p right and we also found that the marginal revenue is equal to uh, 36 minus 4p, right? So that is the relation which we just proved. Now, if I have to sketch it, you will notice that the slope, so I'm not making a perfect scale here, but we kind of sketch it just now. <clears throat> so if I take some values, this is the slope, both start at point 36. So if I start with 36, in that case, let us say this line represents average revenue. In that case, this point is, uh, let me rewrite this as 36 here, okay? And when will it be zero? Zero, zero at 18. So just find the intercepts, correct? So you sketch average revenue. Now to sketch marginal revenue, if P is zero, so what you need to do is 
just figure out their intercepts right so for margin revenue will be zero at 36 minus 4p bringing it here 4p equals to 36 or p is equals to 36 divided by 4 which is 9 so value of 9 which is kind of uh, midway between these two let's say that becomes the marginal revenue so 9 so that graph which is twice as steep as the other graph represents the margin revenue now you'll also notice that if I uh, I mean the angle here then these two angles are equal these two angles is kind of it just divides the angle and that is very clear from these two sides that is the midpoint always so what we notice here is that marginal revenue marginal revenue is twice as steep as average revenue now that makes sense since marginal revenue is the difference between each items price correct so I could write marginal revenue also as 36 minus 2p minus 2p do you see that and then we could get directly 36 minus 4p now this is a solution for students who do not really understand calculus so from the rate of change we could get this result very easily so you will notice that twice that this figure itself right here indicates that this slope should be twice as much faster now it's very important to also note why did i stop it here normally this is the case when the seller is under control right so whenever we have that kind of a situation in this case uh, seller is in control right in control so therefore you will see that it will always be positive we'll say marginal revenue is greater than equal to zero since they will not sell and give you money right and give you money do you understand marginal revenue is the money earned by selling the next item so if I sell the next item and there is a negative revenue it means I'm giving you some money maybe a dollar but who sells by giving money right so that's also a very interesting thing to understand I hope with this you understand that in economics when the market is controlled by the seller then we could have functions like we have here and total revenue represents the product of price with the number of items or demand function with number of items and average revenue demand function and price functions are same things and the marginal revenue goes down twice at the rate of average revenue as we have seen i hope that helps thanks for watching feel free to post your questions and comments and if you subscribe that would be great thank you and all the best